All right, we're going to try and make Jeannie's hat of supplies. So the basis of this hat is going to be cardboard. Oh, our classic PBR. Um, it's two and a half inches and two and a half inches because I need to make it the right size. So I'm going to cut this piece in half um, and probably duct tape it together just because it'll be easier to work with. So we have duct tape. Um, don't worry about what color duct tape. Don't even ask why I have blaze orange. But because um, this is going to be covered up with felt. I have felt. Um, thank gosh I, I bought some red felt for our Wonder Woman tiara next week because I'm an idiot and thought Jeannie's hat was pink. So I bought pink. Alas, it's not. It's red. <laughs> match her little bolero. Uh, shows you what my memory is like. So, but I did have red and I do believe it'll be enough for what we need it for. Um, and still have enough left over for Wonder Woman's star next week. So we have felt to cover the cardboard. Um, I could not find plain sheer material. So we kind of have a sparkly net, which will be fine. It was the only sheer um, they had at Walmart. I only went to Walmart. I didn't feel like going all the way to the craft store. And then um, the rickrack. I could find no pink rickrack. So instead of buying something else, we are either going to try this if we have enough, um, just because it's pretty and I said so. And if I don't have enough, then I'm going to use glue and glitter because it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. I'm not going as Jeannie for Halloween. We're just making a Jeannie hat so I can do the hairstyle. So let us begin. Um, put that out of the way for now. I need this. I need this. I have hot glue just in case we need it, um, which we probably will to put this on. So two and a half inches. That's how big um, or how tall this is going to be. And I'm going to try extremely hard to make this straight. Um, my cutting skills leave a lot to be desired. Um, and we need to make this big enough to go around our head. And we don't want to, like, we want to roll it. That's why we're using this real thin cardboard. Um, we also are going to have to put a slight angle on it, or at least tape it in such a way because Jeannie's hat goes like this. So let me figure out how big this needs to be. And, uh, We'll go from there. I measured around my head. I had to look in the mirror to do so. You see I've made this mark here. That means that we go like this and it'll match up and then I'll know exactly where to tape it. Um, and that will give us the right shape for our hat. Um, and I'm not worrying about this because I am actually going to cut a notch out here because in order to do my hairstyle I need a space for a braid to slide back in and wrap around. You'll see that tomorrow. Let's just say I've already figured some things out. So, uh, yes, more tape. So I'm going to actually tape all of this up so it'll be reinforced and stiff once it's done. So I will be back to show you the next step after we've got this all taped and lovely. You know, just in case. Um, this is usually how I go about getting my strips. So I get a couple um, cause I find cutting duct tape much easier than tearing it. Um, that way we've got some strips. You see, I've already reinforced the back and now I'm just going to cover the whole thing with tape. So it'll be a little sturdier for us. Um, yeah. So anyways, I lay out some strips first. I find it a lot more helpful when dealing with duct tape because it is extremely sticky. All right. Now, truly back in a sec. All right. So we have a fez um, with a little hole in the back to slide a braid up under because um, we have to do a braid all the way around and then tuck the ends. So uh, this is basically a genie fez made out of cardboard and duct tape, um, but we are going to cover it in this red felt. If some moron had bought two things of red felt instead of one, but again, I did buy two things of felt. I just bought pink. Um, so I made a template four inches so it'll at least um, overlap. Um, it doesn't really matter what it looks like on the inside. I just wanted it a little neater, but oh well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cut out two lengths before inches. And then uh, we get to glue. So i got to plug the hot glue gun in 
And yay, basically all we got to do now is decorate. So back in a sec. Okay, time for felting. Uh, like I said, I want a little remainder of this. So what I did is I pre-measured um, slapping this thing around. Uh, and I made some marks, you see, with marker. Just to kind of help me guide myself to do this correctly. Um, correct me. So now... You notice my giant glue thing, of course. I just, I hate hot glue, you guys, just so you know. Future reference. Did test it. So, I'm going to try. Get this going. Hot glue is a pain in my tuchus, just so you know. And I know I'm going to burn myself. But it dries really fast, so that's why we're using it. So, I'm going to begin by doing this a little bit see it's already dry so that didn't stick um I'm just gonna I'm gonna cover it I'm gonna cover this with the hot glue Do you guys want to watch that um and then we have this left over so then I'm going to fashion myself a piece so it works uh it'll be a lot of cuttings and everything but let me do this part I mean you guys can figure this out this is not rocket science glue the felt onto the thing <laughs> Okay, back in his Okay, be thankful I did not show you the gluing portion because there was a lot of cursing as I burnt myself multiple times. I hate hot glue, you guys. Like, totally, totally hate it. But, uh, this doesn't look bad. Now, I realize we've got these. Um, I might just try and cover those with bric a brac. Um, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look bad. This actually looks pretty decent. Uh, we could probably make a fez for Doctor Who this way. Um, <laughs> with a little hole in top for you to put your ponytail through. So um, here's my bric a brick. I want to see if I have enough. I do not know. And we are done with the hot glue gun because I am not burning myself anymore. It's Elmer's glue from here on out. Um, okay. I think there might be enough. Um, I realize this should be pink. Whatever. Um, I'm just going to see if I do have enough. What I need to do is go around the top. Okay. So that much goes around the top. And then also the bottom. Well, we can just stop there. This doesn't need it really. Okay. It's pretty decent. Oh, I think we have enough. And then... You want to do this number, kind of going down and up and down and up. Yes, this is very scientific. Yes, we have enough. So we are going to do the bric-a-brac because I want to. Isn't this pretty? Look, it's roses. It's gold roses with iridescent, uh, like, unicorn skin in there. I don't know. It's pretty. So let's do that. So you guys saw what I was doing, right? Using Elmer's glue, I'm going to go around the top. Um, I am going to go all the way around the top, but on the bottom, I'm only going to go to here. I'm going to go all the way around because we don't need anything. Yeah, that doesn't, that will be covered. Um, and then I'm going to do this number. I'm going to go up here to kind of cover this seam and then just go up and down like this. So let me glue and then we'll see the final product. And if you're wondering, but Torin, aren't you going to attach the scarf? No. This we're just going to pin in our hair, but I thought it was important that you see it because I think most people think that it is a part of the hat and it may very well be, but I wanted it to be detachable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pin it to my hair and then plop this on top so it looks like it's attached, but not. So let's do bric a brac and see how it looks when we're done. Yay! Alrighty guys, FYI, uh, the Elmer's glue just kept sucking all into the felt and nothing would stick so I switched up to um, Aileen's Julet uh, I use this stuff if I want to put rhinestones on things that are going to be washed um, it actually works really really well uh, although now my manicure is totally jacked anyways uh, so I have to wait a second because uh, it's still it takes a little longer for this stuff to dry and you see like the top is already almost dry and that looks okay um, but I had to put it on very, very thick to, uh, squish these little roses down into it. 
um, because it also wanted to soak down into the felt. So uh, I need to wait before I can do the zigzags. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to let it dry until it's, I feel like it's touchable so I can manipulate it for the next part. But uh, yeah, no Elmer's glue. You're going to have to use Doolit. At least that's what I'm using. I guess you can use hot glue, but I'm not burning my fingers anymore. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll be back when it's complete. Alrighty, y'all. We'll just be waiting forever for it to dry. So, this is what it looks like. These are a little too short. I should have made them a little longer, but oh well. Um, it was kind of a pain in the took us, uh, because everything kept sticking to my fingers, but I think it'll be okay once it dries. Um, you'll see I left the back blank so we wouldn't have anything to catch on hair or whatever. But, uh, yep, so there it is. It's sticking out a little bit on this side, but I think we'll be okay. Um, so there's our genie hat. And, uh, hopefully it'll be awesome. You'll be able to see it tomorrow. It'll dry overnight. Um, and, of course, we have our, our, uh, thingy, which we will... As I told you, be careful. We are going to pin it into our hair. But, uh, you know, there you go. Genie hat. Okay, I will see you tomorrow while we attempt the genie pony. And use our little hat. Okay, um, have a great day, guys. Love you. Bye.